family. Juice ball flow. That's right. That's my blue green algae you can put in my joint right there. <clears throat> yeah, word. I know it's been a while since I've been live. Who they said run Facebook? They said the feds run Facebook. So that means the feds don't want my videos shared. <laughs> I hear y'all been having a problem sharing the videos. They be saying my health videos go against the community guidelines. <laughs> but it's all good. Peace of the family. Peace of the family. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good to see y'all. So... I'm just doing this quick video response. I've been gone for a minute, you know, and passing of a real good brother. I just needed time to to think, man. I needed time to collect my thoughts and really just make sure I stay grounded. Make sure I stay focused. Make sure I stay grounded. You know, so I, did, I, I wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm in Orlando right now. Juice bar though. Gotta get this juice bar on. Yeah, so basically, Sonetta said, Hey man, you gotta respond. Don't be scared. That's my brother too. I know he says it jokingly as well. But I know he get frustrated because a lot of times people do these videos about me and I don't be responding. And I just wanted to let the community know the exact reason why I don't be responding. I don't respond to a lot of these videos because it would play into the hands of the people that's doing the antagonizing. Right? <clears throat> and I also want to educate the good brothers and sisters here that's walking with me. <clears throat> when, when these brothers online do these random videos and put my name in the title. Understand. And they say, polite did this, polite did that. Everybody know what polite doing. And they tell in a heartbeat, polite's doing this, polite's doing that. <clears throat> but there's never no police action. You know why? Because they're the ones making these things up. And so, this guy, every year, oh no, I will not be mentioning his name either because that's what he wants. He wants to attach his name to mine. And the only thing he's missing is me to contribute to that. I, he can make his videos and keep throwing my name out there. I don't need him to establish any certain presidents. I don't need him. I don't even want to have his name associated with anything I do from me or from my own behalf. But I want you to understand. <clears throat> oh, I'm not talking about the Muslim cat this time around. Okay, so what I want you to understand. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> hey, get that tongue in your mouth. Get that tongue in your mouth. When you look at these guys, right? <clears throat> First of all, what does it mean if someone said, hey, I'm pursuing this person legally? That's their prerogative. Anybody could do that. Now, to give people the false impression like the case took place and you was awarded something, that's, in, that's indicative of the type of personality that you're dealing with. Because if a person puts up a video and says they're coming after Brother Polite and they won, then what you need to ask yourself is this. Why don't they give you the case number? Why don't they give you a case number? How can someone do a video talk about me and don't give you a case number to make sure they validate everything they're saying. I'll tell you why they don't give you a case number. Because they're lying. And if you look up any scenario that this person has as far as legal proceedings is concerned, I don't got nothing to do with it. They got some other situation going on with whoever they got drama with. It ain't got nothing to do with me. And that's as simple as that. 
So for me, when I see somebody going out their way to tell a lie like this, I, just random, just go out their way and tell lies. I know the main purpose and goal is to make sure that they can get views and get hits. But even in that, that's compromise. Because now when you look at this young guy, he ain't really that young now. But when you look at this guy, very young-minded, very simple, like, behave like a simpleton. When you look at him, you got to say to yourself, YouTube is no longer allowing the guy to monetize his videos. He's a YouTuber. That's what he does for a living. No one's going to come out and pay him to gossip and break down slides talking about somebody. No one's going to pay money for that. So the only thing he had left was YouTube, and YouTube just put him on punishment. And so now that you can't make money, <clears throat> now that you cannot make money from YouTube anymore, you got to go to extremes just to keep some kind of attention going, but at the end of the day, you still got to figure out how are you going to make your money. And so I always tell people, it's, it's not a question of so who's lying. What did I just tell you? Look up, look up any case with his name and see whatever he got pending. If he has any type of case going on, go look it up. And then you'll know someone's lying. No one have ruled in his favor for anything. That's a lie. And then you got, he got, I had like 20 people sending me messages talking about he needs some money. Yo, he's sending people out here to panhandle on his behalf. Yo, go, yeah, listen. I always tell y'all, when you see somebody every year doing videos about me, 20 videos, 15 videos every year, and one to three years, see where they at. Well, I'm on the, I'm on the three-year mark. I'm on a three-year mark of many of those people that was just going video crazy every time talking about polite and really thinking people was watching those videos because they were interested in them, not realizing people was interested because you was talking about me. Where those people are today? Some of you may know. I'm not. I'm certainly not going to say their names, but I'll tell you this. Most of those people that fell off the face of the earth, they done disappeared. They're running away from uh, pedophile, child molestation cases. They are uh, seen on the streets, homeless. These are the people that spent their time doing video after video after video about me and periodically doing it about others. They didn't pass the one to three year test. So when you look at this guy, every year he has videos where he's like, he's going to destroy me. Every year he starts trouble with people. He starts trouble with the Nation of Islam. And then he turns around and says, hey, they're threatening my baby. They're threatening my children. You mean to tell me? You're willing to go on video live and tell the world that they're threatening your baby and children. <clears throat> but the police never ensued them for making that threat. That's because you have no proof of what you're saying. It's clear you tell the police because aren't you the guy that's willing to take people to court? Aren't you the guy that's doing videos telling people who's attempting to set you up? How come you're the only one with, these inf with, with the facts? How come nobody else got access to this information so it could be put to an end? No, you, the young brother starts trouble with people, and then what he does as a precautionary step is before they can even ensue him with any type of response, whether it be violent or verbal, he comes out and then makes up a story about how they're about to hurt him. He does this to protect himself. He'll talk about me and my fam. He'll talk about my family and I, and be very disrespectful, very disrespectful. He goes out his way. Yo, that's not his daughter. If you raise a child from about five, six years old. Is it anybody's business to do videos and saying, to say, that's a lie, that's not really your child? Like who, like why is that even your business in the first place? But this is what we're dealing with. And guess what? Grown people support this type of behavior. But I understand, because a lot of people suffer from mental health issues, so it doesn't really get to me no more. I see it for what it is. I see son as an agent, and I see everybody else is probably being sick in the interim. They don't know no better. There's some sick people out there. Yeah, that's right. He need to stop saying that's a child. It's not a child. Yo, if I raised somebody since their childhood and I've been there for them before their biological parent, that's no knock to their biological parent. I'm going to be there for that person for the rest of my days. And not, you're not even taking the time out to consider how you may be hurting the young sister who's now in her 20s. But when you're doing those videos talking about you exposing her and that's not really your father, that come with a lot of grief that certain people wasn't in her life at a certain pivotal moment and decisions that her mom may have made in retrospect to me playing a pivotal role and raising her. It's insane that that would even be a conversation that you would condemn somebody for. You would condemn the girl and you would condemn me playing the father role. No, I took the time out to 
embrace the young sister as my child along with my other children without making any distinction. Yeah, so I mean, <clears throat> if a man goes and says, yo, I just made this money, I just did this, that, and the third, I just got at him, yo, look for the case number. Look, type his name in and look up for any case number that's associated with it. And then what you'll see is going to say pending. It's going to show you that such a case never even transpired. So nobody got awarded anything. And then look to see who he's taking to court. And then notice that has nothing to do with me. So I don't speak on issues that don't pertain to me. <clears throat> I don't speak on issues that don't pertain to me. You see? And so when people be like, yo, you got to respond to me, you got to respond to me. No, every year he does videos on me. Every year. He, this, this is a young man who says, if you have any relationship with Brother Polite, if you ever got into a relationship with him, please reach out to me. Here's my number. Here's my email. This is what this guy does. If you see somebody doing stuff like that online, what kind of man is out here saying, yo, if you ever had a relationship with Brother Polite uh, and, and it's not going good, reach out to me so we could expose him. When you see people putting out their email, asking people who have problems with you, any type of problems, reach out to me so I can make it happen. When you see people do stuff like that on YouTube, you don't respond to everything they say or do online. You don't do that. You don't do that. But what I'm telling you is when a YouTuber is denied the right or the ability to make money off of YouTube, they start getting desperate. And they start making up stories and hoping that it's true, too. Hoping that he makes some money. You know what I'm saying? This guy is hoping that, I, that he, come, he could create a check out of me. So, I don't have no business going back and forth with people like that. Yeah, it doesn't matter what he's attempting to do. That's his business. I don't get involved with that negativity. Because what I'm telling you guys is when you are ambitious and you have actual real goals and you're actually creative. I'm not talking about the, the hotel scam the guy was doing. And that <clears throat> didn't work. He's a, he's a F up by nature. Everything he, every time he attends to do something business wise, he messes up. So the hotel thing didn't work out. Then what, he, he raised money for a daycare over $10,000. And then when he couldn't produce the daycare after he collected the $10,000, then what happens? He says, oh, I had to use that money for this court case because they were setting me up. So he took it upon himself to use people's monies for the daycare, which made no sense to me too, because if you're a convicted personality, <clears throat> then what are you doing attempting to erect a daycare center amongst many things? I don't know. But uh, what I do know is every time he comes up with something to put money in, I always put my money in it. Because if I ever feel like being petty one day, I'll, I'll be petty legitimately. But again, it's not my responsibility to respond every time a YouTuber says something. Because that's the business they're in. They're in the business of creating controversy and then doing videos and hopefully getting a response so when they get the feedback that they're looking for it can amount to more views so that suits them that doesn't suit me because i'm not in the business of gossiping about black leaders i'm not in the business of hey let me say something negative about umar johnson let me say something negative about most honorable elijah muhammad let me let me say some negative and disrespect and call him out his name minister louis farrakhan you know get out of brother polite get at you know, sign that up. Get at different people that's black men that's contributing. Get at, get at, you know, even sisters. Like, it's like, bro, you spend more time tearing down or attempting to tear down black people. And then you're always coming back out with the, they're out to get me. Someone's scheming on me. They're looking for me. Like, man, get some more bass in your voice and be a man and create something and stick with it. Create something and stick with it. Create a business opportunity and stick with it. Don't abandon ship every time you get a little bit of bread out of it. Switch it up and then tell everybody, no, nah, it's because I got this court case. I got to, and you know, you, you, you hire in legal aid and then acting like you have to pay your lawyer when the legal aid is a legal aid. They got a contract with the state. They can't accept money from you. But you turn around and you say, oh, I had to take the daycare money to pay my legal fees. 
right? And to pay my attorney, and we, and then people do the research and realize you got a court appointed court appointed attorney, and you most likely filed that you didn't have the funds for representation in the first place. So clean, get away with the money. Now, see me, I can be petty because I put money into the daycare joint just for the purposes of being petty because I know you're a liar. But I don't have the time to even deal with that type of energy. That's be, that's my whole problem. <clears throat> By the time I be responding, it be so late in the game, I can still burn you now. But it's corny. Like what I look like going back and forth online. No, you did this. No, you did that. But what about this relationship you was in with this woman? Da da da. You don't think people reach out to me and say, "Yo, such and such did this." Oh, yo, I was in a relationship relationship with this person, and I want you to expose them. And you know what I look? We you know what I do when I see that. I shake my head and I keep moving forward. It just now registered to me. Certain people that reached out to me to so-called expose them. Well. What I look like, you coming to my page to hear me breaking down how this person done got somebody sick in their bedroom and, mm-hmm. yo, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. That's corny. That, that, that to me, I'm a black man. I ain't got no business uh, getting into another black man's previous relationship business. I yeah, That's corny. There's no gain. I only could gain from that is if I've created an audience of people that like that type of information. I don't have an audience of people that like that type of information. So again, this is just my explanation for brothers and sisters that's out there that's like, yo, why don't you respond? You need to respond to this person. Polite is a lie, you need to respond. No, that's big in a, in a cluster, in a group, or in a, there's a cluster of people where this is big news when he says these crazy things. Then there's the real world. The real world where he can't succeed. The real world where he doesn't make money. I'm in that world. I'm in the real world. So in the real world, these things that he says doesn't affect nothing that I do. In the the real world, it doesn't affect my money. It doesn't affect my clientele. It doesn't compromise the integrity of my network. So therefore, I would be adding life and value to anything that he says if I go head on and engage him. Because in actuality, this only means a lot to the people who's keeping up with things that he says. And there's not a lot of people who actually keep up with what he says. Maybe a lot more than we probably would consider, but it's not like he has a monopoly on people's attention to the extent that I need to respond every time he says something. This man is gonna say something every year about me. He does this every year. Every year, he does videos about me. He aligns himself up with anybody who doesn't like me or has an issue. And so, at this particular juncture, when I see people behaving like that, I know my power and I know my influence. So when I see somebody like it's a full-time job that they committed to tear me down, I see them for who and what they are. And then when they take time off of me, the type of personalities they indulge or they engage for, with the same type of debaucherous thinking and engagement, I then can look at it for what it is. I personally feel like, hey, you know, if a, if a person on parole is in a video with somebody with a gun, in my mind, I've seen people who on, on social media have posted images with them and guns and got in trouble. So I don't know how a person that can be a parolee and be in a video with a gun and don't even feel the implication of it. Unless. And then be on video telling me I'm going to stab the air out of someone. I'm going to put a knife in their chest and stab. This is a person that's on parole behaving like this. And with a freedom. Like, yeah, I'm going to just be wild and reckless and I'm going to do videos with a gun here and I'm going to talk about stabbing people in their chest and I'm going to do all this. And you on parole. i never seen nothing like this in my life. I've seen people who are not on parole get in trouble, get jammed up on social media just for posting pics, let alone videos. So in my mind, if a person is not reluctant to make those kind of decisions while they're on parole, it intimates to me that they might be working for the government for the purposes of riling people up, contributing to 
the dissension of our people. And then I just got to watch the rest of the, the behavior. So if the rest of the behavior suggests that anybody that's black that's playing an integral role in organizing, he's going to attack. And the goal is to make everybody look like they're a bad guy, except for him. And then to turn around and tell everybody, everybody's out to get me. Everyone's out to get you for real. Like every time you turn around, he's doing a video. If he's not attacking someone, the people that he's attacking, they're out to get him. And he's the only one that knows these specific details to them being out to get him. Nobody's getting in trouble for going after him. He's the only one that got the information. See, I, I don't get involved with that. That's too much. <clears throat> That's way too much. That's way too much. And if you're asking me, who am I talking about? That's perfect. Because I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Because I don't give these people life. I don't need to mention people's names to further my agenda. Yeah, the credit microwave is still going on. I don't care. You go watch it if you want to go. It, I don't know what the point is of people saying certain things. I ain't watched the damn thing. I watched. I watched what a minute and a half, two minutes. I couldn't. I couldn't do that to my life. I just know I ain't gonna hear too much different than what the the name of the game is. The name of the game is just to speak negative and hopes that you can create more confusion around me. feel me oh yeah I will definitely bring in the block party because I'm not dealing with oh uh, this is kale apple ginger and I added e3 live to it love y'all too peace all you gotta do is look in these people's face and see how stressed they are you can look on their skin and tell how stressed they are true story And keep in mind, if you don't know who I'm talking to, then that's all right. And if you do know who I'm talking about, part of me, that's all right. But what you ain't going to get out of me is me mentioning anybody's name, because I'm not going to give them that type of free promotion. <clears throat> you know what's so funny? People always, you know, I don't, I be thinking people be, you know, our people... I don't want to say our people are slow, but too many of our people are very slow. Let me say it like that. People be like, yo, what do we do for a living? And on everything that I post, I hashtag some of what I do for a living. It's on almost every single thing that I post. So what that tells me is that people are illiterate and they refuse to believe, damn, a person can make money being smart. In your opinion, what is the greatest obstacle black people in America face? They entertain gossip. And they look to make excuses about other people's success. That's their, that's their biggest obstacles. They don't take the time out to discern if whether or not they should take the time out to listen to information that won't contribute to their livelihood. Case in point. The foolishness that this brother is doing online people won't sit there and say you know what how could this possibly benefit me how can I make money off of this how can I feed my family you can't and then when he does another video talking about another brother how can this contribute or advance your community or your family it can't it can't if there's a case number then case closed because I ain't got nothing to do with none of that you feel me so no it's not so make sure when you come here you know hey can you respond to this then the third ask me to respond to information something that is valuable 
that's why I stay quiet a lot of times when it comes to these people. It's not worth it. Uh, watch the beginning of the video. Thank you, Brother Larry. Yeah, I know. He told a lot of lies. <laughs> Son is crazy. I be thinking he probably sick for real. You got to be an agent or he got to be sick, man. But I be thinking no one could just be sitting there lying like that. You got to either be sick or you got to be hired to create that kind of confusion. There's no way you could just be in a normal space, a normal head space and just doing this type of confusion. You can't. It can't be true. Oh, you can never be a leader and not get hate. You sign up for the wrong business. You know, what's, what's interesting is you'll look at the COINTELPRO counterintelligence program initiated by the FBI. And, you know, 30, 40, 50 years later, we could always find out type of covert things they did to turn people against their own and you'll see how even on the Malcolm X documentary they show you how the, the government created a fake letter or created fake letters and sent it how the government created fake letters and they sent the fake letters to Elijah Muhammad's spouse to create confusion in his household and the government taking the time out to create fake letters. You know, if you study Marcus Garvey, the first black agent was assigned to him. You feel what I'm saying? And they misappropriated funds in his business to turn his people against him. People started saying Marcus Garvey was scamming and Garvey even contemplated, well, attempted his own suicide twice because he was heartbroken and grief stricken that the people would believe the things that was being said about him. So here it is, we fast forward, and everybody's conscious, right? But then when these things start happening, nobody sits there and realizes, oh, sweat, these things are happening again. We just think, oh, these is just random people having problems on YouTube. No, if you see somebody addicted to tearing other black people down on YouTube, you gotta see it for what it is. If you look at somebody's catalog of videos, and when you turn around, when that shit starts dying out, they gotta come back for some more controversy. Come on, man. It's one thing when you're doing debates. It's another thing if it ain't a debate, then why are you tearing your people down every opportunity you get? Real stuff. Real talk. So you got to you gotta wake up to that. No, addressing somebody is saying their name and going into specifics and details. Because my brothers and sisters have been reaching out and saying are you going to respond will you respond for those people that are in tune with that information this suffice this is enough this is as far as I'm going to go so maybe you should watch the beginning of the video don't come on here late asking these questions yeah you got to watch the documentary Malcolm X they created fake letters to turn that man's spouse against them, create distrust. They study movements, they study people's reactions, and they work on getting those kind of reactions out of you to cause you to crumble and so you can also reveal other weaknesses. So when I see people behave in a certain way, I say, man, this person's looking to get a reaction out of me. But then I ask, why is this person working like this is a job for them to get a reaction out of me? Unless it is a job for them to get a reaction out of me. So I just think like that. And hey, I could be wrong. Maybe he's just suffering from mental health issues. Nonetheless, there's definitely a problem. And I don't need to be part of it where I'm in a YouTube battle and I'm going to post a video and he going to post a video. And I'm going to post a video and he going to post a video. Yo, that's ridiculous. Yo, I got, I got children I got to raise. There would be a husband to my wives. And it would just be disrespectful to do that with my time when I have them that I have to be there for. And then I have a community that... I'm working with and New Covenant about to be completely up and running full-fledged full force all over again 
the NCSD, New Covenant Special Defense. All of that is going on. We got all of us, the brothers that's in the meetings, the security meetings and everything. Yo, we, it never stops. I got a whole situation. I got lessons that I have to disseminate in the community. We have initiations that we're doing. I can't get involved with that kind of stuff because it, it would demonstrate less than leader-like qualities and capabilities. You got to be able to put the community's issues in front of your so-called very own. Man, it's so-called because these are not real issues. Thank you, good brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Family first, for sure. So when I had retired, I had retired because I didn't like the energy. I felt the invasion. I felt the ops were in the community. And I wanted to stop and watch. I see new people coming and going. And, and the mentality is, yo, I'm going to introduce myself by not teaching, by not doing extensive research and sharing data that can qualify not only my research, but my intentions. No, people's whole job was, I'm coming in this community to expose this one. Another person, my job is to come in this community and expose that one. Then the exposers start exposing each other. And I'm like, looking, I'm like, yo, this is what this is turning into. And then the people start getting involved in it. And they start cheering on the responses. Yeah, thank you for exposing that, brother. <laughs> and I go, yo, I don't, I don't need to be part of that. That's confusion. I fuck around and miss some of the better years of my children's lives being part of that chaos. I let them people tug a war with each other and t cancel each other out. But like I said, inside of one to three years, none of those people will remain. And we look now on a one to three year mark since this chaos, and shit, it's probably one or two people left from that chaos. And the one or two that's left, they're obviously on decline because they're showing all the signs of decline. Peace to the family in Trinidad and Tobago. So yeah, you just gotta be smart enough not to go along with anything. I'm gonna get another one of these when I go to the other side. Do you got the address for the other juice bar? Where if you let them talk long enough, they expose themselves. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, people was people not used to making money. They was making some money off of that expose, expose, expose shit. But you know how, how the beast work. The, you do the you do the beast bidding. You do the bidding for the beast, and then he snatched that money out your pocket. Now get a job. You done served your po you done served your purpose, Negroes. Now we change our YouTube guidelines and regulations. We don't like that kind of content and we're gonna pay you less for it anyway. If we do pay you. Killed him. Oh why you should have been working on getting a real skill set or trade. Why you should have been working on building up your network. You was over here making monies off of destroying your own people for pennies of a dollar. And then YouTube just snatched that opportunity from you. And now you don't have nothing. <laughs> Word up. Peace of the family in Scotland. Y'all all out here. I'm with it. I'm with it. That's what's up. But yeah, all, I got, yeah, all you gotta do is just look at people. They, they don't even look healthy, man. These people look sick. They deal with too much negativity. Way too much negativity. It's negative, man. And the emotions from the brothers is very effeminate. It's nothing wrong with a woman with female emotions. It's certainly something to be said about a man who presents himself as a female. And I'm just not talking about someone's voice. I could just, you know, someone can have not too much bass in their voice. It happens. It doesn't happen often, but it happens. You know, it's just a sign that they got low testosterone levels when they got that high-pitched voice like that. Or when they moving their hair like this constantly when they talking. <laughs> These people. But I understand it's daddy issues. You know, these young brothers ain't had like a, a man in their life to really 
enforce any discipline and they're not looking to have anybody they're not looking to join an organization and be under the tutelage of wise men so they can get the discipline so they can later on become somebody in life that can also give that same type of vision and knowledge to a younger brother or sister word I didn't I didn't have no no yelling or screaming all out because it's, it's really not too deep <laughs> that's a fact it's very simple peace to the family in Milwaukee hey Lakeisha thank you peace thanks for listening yeah you could get pack up put the stroller in and find uh, the other juice bar See what they vibe like. Get up out of there. Got a juice bar hop. Juice bar hopping just to see what it is out here. <laughs> Unique vibes. <laughs> you must have missed the whole old joint man don't ask me no stupidness <laughs> yo somebody here just I'm out to block them just for asking me something dumb they can't be serious you might be missing the whole situation young goofy ass negro make up stories tell lies and you ask so are you gonna yo there's nothing for me to do about it it has nothing to do with me that has nothing to do with me whatsoever <clears throat> son is lying like he normally lies Oh no, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna be relaunching the app. The movement is going full blown. I am coming out of retirement for sure. I got a nice debate coming up. It's gonna be, woo. It's gonna be powerful. Wow, it's gonna be in a mega church. A mega black church. You're talking with thousands of seats. You know, the joints with the ATM inside. <laughs> yeah, we about to get them. You know, I ain't really deal with the black Christian yet. I do it online and we do what we do, but I haven't been on a big stage and put the pain in because I want to deal with a pastor that has a great deal of rapport who's also intelligent, man. We can put the game down. So, yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all soon. I'm going to go on Instagram Live for the next one. Uh, for those of you that's been taking the courses, I love and appreciate you. Uh, today is what? Today's Wednesday? Saturday? Look into your email. I got some pleasant surprises. Talk about money. You know, we all over that on the next stream. Just wanted to give you guys something that you could appreciate. Thanks, man. Say so your credit score is up. That's what's up. We getting back to the work. We getting back to that work. Starting uh, Saturday, you're going to get those videos. And I, like I said, I've been chilling. I've been traveling with the family. I had a lot of work going on for Super Bowl Sunday. I mean, that's old Super Bowl weekend in Miami. And I'm still in Florida, but I'm in Orlando right now. But it was a lot of work. A lot of my uh, celebrity clients had me uh, cooking up a lot of things for them. So it was a lot. Just watch the video again, Brother Kendall. But at least you know uh, this is your video to look at. If you say, "Yo, I wonder if I'm gonna respond to this and the third," you can look at this video, and this this is your the best response you can get out of me because I don't need to attach my name to nobody's in order to do what I gotta do. So I'm not I'm not about to contribute to these people's world. All they have is YouTube at their disposal, and that's slipping from their grips. I ain't about to give them something with it. Okay, yes, he responded. So now I'm gonna get back at him. No, I'm going to have it where if the Negro looking for my response video, the title might even be like, I don't even understand which one is the response because I'm not interested in all that. I'm not interested in that chaos. 
just email me and send you send me your full name and number. Yes, and we're gonna get right to it. Those people that's interested in the credit restoration microwave, no, we do move every single thing, every item off of there. Peace to y'all. Love y'all so much. Hey. What up, D? But yeah, you know, this this come with maturity, y'all. Y'all got when you 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 gotta know if you gotta know if you're a YouTuber or not. I know I'm not a YouTuber. And by YouTuber I mean I know when I, the real world and then the YouTube world. And I know which one warrants a response from me when it suffice. If I am not promoting for a debate, nine and three quarters time out of ten, you ain't gonna get a response from me on YouTube per the accusations or antagonism of a person who makes their money on YouTube or who is solely reliant on building their brand or network from YouTube based on chaos. That's not me. So I know my brand doesn't revolve around me saying negative things about other people. So I don't need YouTube to validate my existence. I don't have to respond to a community of YouTube people in order to reestablish my disposition because that's not what I do for a living. I use YouTube to share information I'm concerned about. So there's a difference. But yo, if someone posts something, yo, you gotta respond. But that person's always saying something. So that means I'm always gonna have to respond. Who is that person for me to have to respond all the time? So I'm telling you guys this, for those who that missed the first part of this, doesn't work like that. I call my own shots. I got my own world going on. You got, you got to remember, I'm able to tell who's not used to getting attention and then when they do get attention, why they get the attention. I'm used to be able to see that when my name gets involved. Because I just look at the previous videos and I go, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're doing. And more power to you. You find something that works. If it's about getting some extra views and attention, go with what works. But now, my responsibility is not to build your brand by contributing to your chaos by attaching my name to yours after you attach yours to mine. Mine is to make sure when you attach your name to mine, it stays in that same momentum, that direction, until I bleed you out. Because by the time I have you so overwhelmed with my personality, you'll, you'll end up like the rest of those people who disappear off the face of the earth because they're plagued by poverty and real life issues because you can only do that crap for so long before real life kicks in. And if I was into mentioning names, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. If I was into, if I was into mentioning names, I can mention like 12 people who were just constantly doing video after video after video about me whose lives look like hell for those of them that we can see through a little bit. And the rest just disappeared. So if your claim to fame is destroying other people, you will destroy yourself in the interim. Because you can't survive over that type of negativity for so long. You just can't. It is. De defies the law of conscious physics. <laughs> What's up, Boo? Hi. Where you getting? Oh. New cabinet all the way up. Hey, I get the support from some of the best, or wealthiest, most powerful people on the planet of our race. I'll be damned if I reduce myself to a YouTube battle and I ain't getting paid for it other than the little coins that they can give me. I ain't about to go back and forth with, a, with another black man so YouTube could pay me a few coins. I ain't no hoe. I ain't dancing for no money like that. You crazy? <laughs> Yo, you got me all the way twisted. Don't ask me stupid questions, McCullough. And what you, what you need to do is watch the video from the beginning. Don't ask stupid questions. It's stupid. It's really dumb. Then leave your name and number now and also leave a subject. You hit me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number and you leave a subject. A lot of times your people don't leave the number 
And you'd be like, yo, I'll be here, you up, and nobody. Nah, because people be purposely not leaving subjects. When they leave their number, or they be leaving their number and not leaving subjects because they know they want to act something that's offbeat. They want to get free consultations and all this other stuff, and I don't got time for all of that. I'd be really having a whole lot going on. Oh, I had kale apple ginger in here, and I, I threw in some blue green algae. McCullough, I ain't mad at you. It, you'll know why it's a stupid question if you watch the beginning of the video, my brother. It don't mean you stupid, but if you if you give a few things some thought of what you should have considered when son started talking crazy, you'd be like, yeah, that's true. But the reality is, brother McCullough, all I'm saying is, we you can't be preoccupying your mind with gossip because it doesn't fuel the agenda you have for your family or for your own personal development. That's all I'm saying. That shit is gossip. It's garbage if it's gossip. You can't do nothing with it. It's garbage. Shadine Davis, did you sell us out? Block party. <laughs> there you go, your answer. Still afternoon, man. Sun is out. Still plenty of time for the block party. Thank you. Miles Manning says, every time you go live, I watch. I must say your energy is on point today. I can tell you're in a great space. Thank you. I appreciate that. You already know. You already know it's for all cloud purposes. Just watch the beginning of the video. I don't want to keep going over the same thing over and over. Uh... Brother, P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. That's where you guys are interested in the entrepreneur course, the master course with the credit restoration, or the credit restoration microwave in general. Yeah, you already know, people are sick. Kale apple ginger, family. Kale apple ginger with some blue green algae added to it. Yes, the course will. I was going to debate Garfield, but he keeps switching up every time I'm supposed to do the debate. And it was for fun. To the, does the black community need a leader? He brought it up. And then I showed up to New York. He wasn't ready. Ready to do it online. He wasn't ready. I don't know why he brought it up, man, if he wasn't ready. <laughs> but no flack on him. It's all good. I don't got a personal rift against him. That's not on me, that's for sure. I know I need to go live more often. I was going live pretty often at first. And then the homie passed away and I really felt that. And I, I like to introspect and meditate when there are some real powerful losses in our community or friends or family. Thanks. That's the Scientology video. I appreciate that. Thanks, Dr. Perry. Appreciate it. Yeah, Malcolm X Netflix documentary is really on point. And it's a testament to how much misinformation Negro's been putting out about our good brother Malcolm. It's just sad. Ruben, please just look at the beginning of the video. No more silly questions. We're not doing silly questions in this hour. Silly. No, I'm not debating no past debate. Son is way, 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 way too emotional and, and too emotionally invested in me as a personality. He, it's too compromised when it comes to having a, a debate. Thank you, Shanika says her husband and her have learned a great deal from me. So we'll talk about joining New Covenant on the next stream. I'm going to be live on Instagram, brother underscore P-O-L-I-G-H-T, brother underscore polite. I'm going to be going live on Instagram in another 20 minutes. So look out for me. If you're not already following, 
follow me on Instagram and let's get to it and we'll talk about this very briefly and then we're gonna get straight to work get back to our regularly scheduled program Brownsville got my back I already know Jermaine Peach thanks Mustafa see this uh, we're gonna see if these videos start getting shared again because they've been denying my people the right to share these videos so let's see what goes on peace and many blessings man love you guys stay green you know I gotta be at them broad juice bars I gotta find out where they at uh, when I go live on Instagram I'm gonna be at another one just to taste how they joins so up so I can know what's up peace and blessings to the family Thank you.